whenever you start to assemble. It depends on your workspace. You could do it on the ground, any type of flat area. Because I'm using sole horses, I'm attaching one bar at a time at the corner. Then uh, we'll slide it down the other side of the sole horses and attach the other bar. But get it just where it's lined up. And the frames are in very good quality. He actually sells them cheaper than you could buy the aluminum L channel itself. I mean, he must be able to buy it in like huge quantities to be able to sell them that cheap. Best, best price around anywhere. After you get the frame together and all corners are nice and flush, uh, put a big healthy bead of cock all around on the inside and then lay your glass down. After you lay a big glob all around, I use about a tube and a half. Lay your glass in, kind of press it down a little bit, and then if you want, you can put some more cock in the edge, and then smear the cock around like my beautiful assistant's doing. Smile, love, for you. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, now with the tabs that hold the glass down, uh, put plenty of cock in the bottom. Go around and place them about where they belong. You can move them about in the final places. And then you start to thread your bolts through and get those tight as well. After you get those in place, I uh, spray the excess goober cock all around it. I usually let it sit for like a couple hours before I move it. And me, I'll store it for like a day before I actually start laying the tiles on it. Uh, you could start working on it right away if you wanted to. But I prefer not to work in direct sunlight because I am a white person and I sunburn easy. Uh, I will show you how to start tabbing the wires next.